And we thank Atlanta Care for, for being so wonderful to us and for being such a special part of today's arrival ceremony. So ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, please welcome the 2014 Miss America National Finalists. And here they come. Okay, now, one of the traditions of the Miss America pageant when it was in Atlantic City for those many, many decades was the signing in ceremony, which was when each contestant signed their state in the map of the United States. And this ceased to exist about nine years ago, but we decided to bring it back. And today, each of our contestants is going to step over here and tell you who she is, and then she's going to go sign that map, and then she's gonna walk down for a few photos and go back and sit down, and we're gonna do that 53 times. So cheer for your favorites, beginning with Miss Alabama. Hello everyone, I am Chandler Champion, Miss Alabama. I am thrilled to be here today. I've been a part of this wonderful organization for seven years, so I'm incredibly excited to be representing my wonderful state, and I really couldn't be happier that Miss America is back home in Atlantic City. She's gonna go sign. And while she's signing, we'll bring Miss Alaska. Well, good afternoon. My name is Michelle Taylor. You're Miss Alaska 2013, and it took me 4,000 miles to get here, and I could not be more thrilled that Miss America is back on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. <laughs> Miss Arizona. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Smested and I am Miss Arizona. I am so incredibly blessed to be involved in this organization and this is my first time in Atlantic City. So thank you so much for welcoming, welcoming us back here for the first year back. Please welcome Miss Arkansas. Miss Arkansas, Amy Crane, and this is also my first time in Atlantic City, and I'm so excited that the pageant has come back here and to be vying for the title of Miss America here in Atlantic City on the 50th anniversary of the first Miss Arkansas to ever win Miss America, Donna Axon Whitworth. So thank you all so much for having us, and I look forward to a really exciting journey here. Miss California. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Crystal. I come from San Francisco, California. I have been participating in this program for about seven years, and I have heard so many legendary things about Atlantic City. This program has really come from the legacy that has been built over the past 90 years here in this city, and I can really feel the charm and the hospitality being here since this morning. So I am incredibly excited, and thank you for having me. Miss Colorado. Good afternoon, here from the Mile High City, I am Meg Cardos, Miss Colorado 2013. I'm so thrilled to be here in Atlantic City and even more thrilled that Miss America is in its home state and its home city, thank you.
this district of Columbia. Good afternoon, Atlantic City. My name is Bindu Pamarthi, and I come to you from the nation's capital. I am so thrilled about being back here on the boardwalk to revive these incredible traditions, and I thank you all for coming out to celebrate this historic return with us. Miss Florida. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Miranda Jones, your Miss Florida 2013. I just want to say I hope I bring the sunshine and the warmth from the Sunshine State. And I really, truly hope we get to see each other more throughout the week in your support for our pageant. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Georgia. Good afternoon. I'm your Miss Georgia, Carly Mathis. It has been a dream of mine to compete in Miss America since I was 13 years old and started competing in the team program, but also a dream of mine to compete in Atlantic City. My mom has, I think, never missed Miss America except for once in the past 21 years. So it's an honor to be here, and I'm so proud that she gets to watch me in Atlantic City. Thank you. Miss Hawaii. Aloha, everyone. I'm Crystal Lee, Miss Hawaii. And since Vegas is already considered the ninth island of Hawaii, I'm just so happy to have this opportunity to travel across country to represent the beautiful island of Hawaii. Thank you for having me. Miss Idaho. I'm Sarah Downs, Miss Idaho, and I've actually been to Atlantic City once before, but I only drove through. I never stepped out of the car. So I am so excited to be able to explore the city and meet all of you, and I'm so happy to have Miss America back at home. Thank you so much. Miss Illinois. Brittany Smith, your Miss Illinois 2013. I am so excited to be here. I have family, relatives, extended family in the East Coast, especially right here in Atlantic City, and I'm just so thrilled to be here. I love the tradition and history, and I'm just super pumped for this adventure. So thank you so much for having us. Miss Indiana. Hi everyone, I'm Taryn Thomas, Miss Indiana, and I didn't step out of my shoes that time, so yay. Um, I've been watching the Miss America pageant ever since I was a little girl, and nothing feels more perfect than being here on the boardwalk this year as I'm competing. So thank you so much for having us. Iowa. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Kelly and I am your Miss Iowa this year. And this is my very first time in Atlantic City, so I am extremely excited to get the scenic tour on the back of a convertible down your gorgeous boardwalk while I show you my shoes. Kansas. Good afternoon. 
afternoon. I'm Teresa Vale, Miss Kansas. I'm excited to be here today because this is the hometown of Miss America, the birthplace, and I get to experience that tradition. So thank you for the welcoming. Miss Kentucky. Hello, Atlantic City. Let me be the first to say, welcome home, Miss America. It's good to be here. I have been, I'm Jenna Day, Miss Kentucky, and I've been watching the Miss America pageant for a very long time. And I have those memories of watching those women walk down the runway as they took their victory walk at the end of the pageant. And I'm just so excited to be there, and hopefully I'll be taking that walk. <laughs> Miss Louisiana. Hi everyone, I'm Jaden Leach, Miss Louisiana, and from a state that is known for its southern hospitality, I just want to thank you all for being so hospitable and welcoming to all of us contestants. We're very appreciative. Thank you so much. Miss May. Good afternoon, Atlantic City. I am Kristen Corda, Miss Maine. I'm just so excited to be here today and I wanna thank you for having us. And I hope that you'll join us on Saturday the 14th where we will show us our, our shoes. Miss Maryland. Hello, I'm Miss Maryland 2013, Christina Denny. And I'm so excited to be making history this year with the class of 2014 as Miss America returns home to Atlantic City. And I'm very excited to be a part of a show that will undoubtedly be one to remember. Thank you all. Miss Massachusetts. Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Narciso from small but mighty Massachusetts. Woo! And this boardwalk air is not doing anything good for my hair, but it's doing wonderful things for my spirit. You all are electric and I am so thankful that you've welcomed back the Miss America pageant um, to your home. And we appreciate you, we love you, and we can't wait to perform for you. Miss Michigan. Thank you, Sam. Hello, I am Haley Williams, your Miss Michigan. How lucky we are to be the first Miss America class celebrated back home. Thank you, Atlantic City, so much for your energy and your generosity in coming back to the boardwalk. Thanks so much. Miss Minnesota. As they say, there's no place like home. It's so good to be back in Atlantic City, and thank you so much for being here today. I miss Minnesota, Rebecca Yeh. Miss Mississippi. state but I'll say the people of Atlantic City and the surrounding areas of New Jersey have been so warm and so kind and so hospitable so we're really gonna have to step it up a notch to keep that name so thank you so much I'm looking forward to getting to know some of you throughout the two weeks here and sharing our stories and I just thank you for all that you've done to bring the Miss America pageant home thank you so much
Memphis, Missouri. Hi there, I'm Shelby Ringdahl, Miss Missouri, and I was so thrilled to leave my home to come to the home of Miss America in Atlantic City, New Jersey. So thank you so much for having us. We're excited to be here. Miss Montana. Hello, I'm Sheridan Pope, your Miss Montana. And I just want to say that your beautiful beaches are a refreshing change from the fields of cattle that I'm used to. <laughs> Miss Nebraska. Hi everyone, my name is JC Pilkington, Miss Nebraska 2013. And I'd, I'd just like to say that walking out those boardwalk doors and coming into this crowd was such an exciting way to be able to start this journey. And I know that standing here and seeing all this support that we are in a very, very special place bringing Miss America back to Atlantic City. I just wanna thank you for being here today. Miss Nevada. Hi everyone, my name is Diana Sweeney and I am Miss Nevada 2013. I just want to truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming all of us with such warmth and love and support and I am so excited to be here in Atlantic City celebrating the birthplace and return home to Miss America. So thank you so much. Miss New Hampshire. Hello everyone, I'm Miss New Hampshire, Samantha Russo, and I'm so proud to be representing the Granite State and the birthplace of Miss America, your gorgeous Atlantic City. Miss New Jersey. Miss New Mexico. Hello, Atlantic City. I'm Alexis Victoria Dupre, your Miss New Mexico 2013. And coming to you from the land of enchantment, I can personally testify to all the truly enchanting moments we have had so far in Atlantic City. Thank you for having us, and thank you for supporting the Miss America program. New York. Good evening, everyone. Although I live right around the corner, this is actually my first time doing Atlantic City, and you guys really know how to do it big. So thank you so much for having us. Representing the Big Apple, I'm Nina Davalori, Miss New York. Miss North Carolina. Hello, Atlantic City. I am Jonna Edmonds, Miss North Carolina. 
performing in convention hall to being a part of the famous Show Me Your Shoes Parade. I couldn't be more excited than to be right here in Atlantic City. So thank you so much for having us. And don't forget to watch live on ABC September 15th. <laughs> Miss North Dakota. Hello everybody, my name is Laura Harmon and I am Miss North Dakota. I come from the state that is in the center of North America, so seeing the ocean is extremely exciting. So thank you so much for sharing your beautiful scenery with me today. Miss Ohio. Hello everyone, my name is Heather Wells and to have the Miss America pageant right here in Atlantic City is truly a homecoming. And to be a part of this experience is such an honor and I'm so thrilled to have the Miss America pageant back where it belongs right here in Atlantic City. Thank you. Miss Oklahoma. Hello everyone, my name is Kelsey Griswold, Miss Oklahoma. And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming us as your family. And what better place to meet up for family than home. Thank you, Atlantic City. Miss Oregon. Hello everyone, my name is Allison Cook, Miss Oregon. I just wanna say I feel so blessed and welcomed here in Atlantic City. Thank you for welcoming my sisters and I home. Miss Pennsylvania. Hey everybody, I am your Miss Pennsylvania, Annie Rossellini. I'm very excited that Miss America is back in my neighboring state of New Jersey. How cool is that? I only drove six whopping hours to get here, so it's, it's really incredible. I'm so glad that we're back in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, you can just feel the Miss America nostalgia in the air. Thank you so much for having us. Miss Puerto Rico. Hello everyone, my name is Chen Lauren and I am Miss Puerto Rico. <laughs> well, I feel really excited and honored to be here and be part of the Miss America organization Homecoming. So, I'm really excited and I feel really honored to be part of the history of the Miss America. Miss Rhode Island. Representing the Ocean State, I feel right at home here in Atlantic City, New Jersey with our beautiful ocean view. I thank you so much for welcoming my sisters and I here back in Atlantic City. And I'm so excited for the weeks ahead. Thank you so much. Miss South Carolina. Hello Atlantic City, my name is Brooke Mosteller, Miss South Carolina. And as you see um, on the boardwalk, on boardwalk hall, there's pageantry written up with education, science, and industry. So thank you for recognizing the significance of this organization. We truly are solidified in the heart of this city. Um, I ate at White House Subs last night and felt right at home. So, yeah, wanted to give them a shout out.
Miss South Dakota. Hello everybody, how cool is this to be back in Atlantic City? What an honor and what a great way to spend my first trip here. So thank you, thank you, thank you for having us and welcoming us with open arms. Miss Tennessee. Hey there, I'm Shelby Thompson from Tennessee, and this is actually a dream that my mom and my grandmother started years ago. And after four years, I was able to come here to Atlantic City, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be part of an organization that paid for my mom's college and afforded me the opportunity to go to graduate school back in Atlantic City. Thank you so much for being here. Miss Texas! Hello and good afternoon coming to you from Dallas, Texas. I am Miss Texas Ivana Hall and a little fun fact, although I was raised in Texas, my mother is a New Yorker, so the East Coast has always been a second home to me. However, Atlantic City is a first, so I'm so happy to be here and I'm very honored. Thank you. Miss Utah. <laughs> Hello, Atlantic City. I come from one of the driest states in the nation. So I am enjoying this humidity and finally having moisturized skin. I couldn't be more thankful. The beaches aren't bad as well. So thank you for having us back where we belong. Miss Vermont. Hi, I'm Janelle O'Shea, and uh, being at the end of the alphabet makes it kind of hard to come up with something original. Um, but I'm really, really glad to be here. Like many of my sisters up here, this is my first time coming to Atlantic City, and I knew that it would be a great partnership when you guys had touchscreen vending machines. That was really exciting for me. I can't wait to see what else you have in store and come watch the show. Miss Virgin Islands. Good afternoon, Atlantic City. Coming to you from the most eastern point of the United States. I am Ashley Messiah, Miss Virgin Islands. It's my first time being here in Atlantic City and I'm so excited. It's also been one of my dreams to be, to be the Miss America contestant and I'm actually fulfilling it and I'm so happy that I get to share it with these 52 beautiful young ladies behind of me and I wouldn't have won it any other way. Thank you once again for having us. Have a wonderful day. Miss Virginia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Desiree Williams, Miss Virginia, and I'm absolutely honored and, of course, excited to be part of Miss America's historical return to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Thank you so much for having us. Miss Washington. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to thank you all so much for your kindness and for your generosity and for your food. I don't think I've ever had authentic Italian food before I got here, and I am hooked for good. I've been missing out. So thank you all so much. I'm so excited to be here. Miss West Virginia. Hello, 
Atlantic City. My name is Miranda Harrison, Miss West Virginia, and I cannot think of a better year to be here than at the homecoming in Atlantic City. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to not only have the job of Miss America, but also the National Children's Miracle Network Hospital representative. So thank you so much. Miss Wisconsin. Hello, Atlantic City. I am Paula May Kuyper, Miss Wisconsin, and I have three reasons as to why I'm excited to be here today. One, because Miss America is back where it is belongs. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. Reason number two, because you guys are absolutely awesome. From the second I stepped off of the plane, I felt so incredibly welcome to be here. So thank you for that. And reason number three, I don't know if any of you think this is cool, but I get to compete to be the next Miss America, and I think that's pretty exciting. So thank you. And Miss Wyoming. Hello, everyone. I'm Rebecca Podio, Miss Wyoming. And I'm so pleased to be here in Atlantic City. You guys have all made us feel so much at home. And being from the Cowboy State, if your hospitality wasn't enough to make me feel like I was at home, the giant banner advertising for the Boardwalk Rodeo right next to Mallory's crowning picture um, brought it home a little more. And I'd just like to thank you on behalf of the whole class of 2014 for all that you've done for Miss America through the years. And we're glad to be bringing her home to you. All right, I want to ask Miss Connecticut to come down here since she didn't get a microphone. Miss Connecticut. I like to think that I spoke loud enough, but thank you so much for welcoming us home. I know I speak for all of us when I say we are so happy to be here. We are so excited to perform for you, and there is no place like home, that's for sure. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Make sure you come and com uh, come and compete. <laughs> come and watch us compete, and and come and speak to us. We're all fun, and we'd love to meet you. A lot of really wonderful and supportive people were a part of bringing Miss America home. And what I'd like to tell you today is that one of the key players, in addition to Governor Christie, is his Lieutenant Governor, Kim Guadano. And I'd like to ask her to come up and say a few words. why the Miss America pageant is here today is because I worked on it. So I earned it, like the ladies that are here right now, we earned it. You know, the women in the room understand what I just said. So it's fabulous to be here today for two reasons. First, of course, this is where Miss America should have been and will always be and will always be welcome. Welcome home, ladies. if I didn't talk about how important this is to Atlantic City. I do not think it is a coincidence that just two months after the worst storm that ever hit the state of New Jersey in my generation, I got a phone call from the county executive in Atlantic County. His name is Denny Levinson, and I believe you're going to see him in just a minute. And he said, you know, we have a shot at bringing Atlantic City back, I'm sorry, bringing the Miss America pageant back to Atlantic City. And Two months after the storm, I don't know how many of you lived through it. I live in a little tiny town called Monmouth Beach on the river and a block from the ocean in the county of Monmouth. And the day after the storm, for those of you that don't know what happened to the state of New Jersey, let me remind you, every single school in the state of New Jersey was closed. 
Every single water treatment plant was closed. Every sewage treatment plant was closed. Every highway was closed. Seven of the 8.8 .8 million people in the state of New Jersey were without power. So when I got a call from Denny Levinson two months after the storm, he said, let's bring Miss America back to New Jersey. I said, all in. <laughs> And for those of you that don't know, Miss America always had its world headquarters here. They never really left the state of New Jersey. I want to thank them for that. And exactly two months after the worst storm that ever hit the state of New Jersey, left New Jersey, I met with Sam Haskell and the leaders of the Miss America pageant. Me and members of my team, at the request of Denny Levinson, said, why don't you do more for the state of New Jersey than just about any other person could. Why don't you bring the pageant back to where it belongs? Two months after that, that's just four months after the storm, we stood not too far from here on Valentine's Day and announced that the Miss America pageant was coming back to the Garden State and to Atlantic City. I don't know. I don't know if you understand what that meant. It was a boost to the economy, obviously, just take a look around. It means money for vendors, it means business people, it means overnight stays, it means an attitude, it means dollars and cents, not only for Atlantic City, but for the whole region and for the entire state. But I think more importantly than a boost to the economy, it was a boost to the morale of the state of New Jersey, something you could not ever put a price tag on. I have to say thank you for that. Yes, less, less than a year later, here we are standing. It is a dream come true, ladies, not just for you, although I can imagine it is. Congratulations. Somewhere up here right now is the next Miss America. Thank you for that. To the parents, because I am one, to the parents, the sponsors, the caregivers, the people that drove you back and forth to all the pageants, who picked out the clothes, who coached you, who guided you, who gave you strength when you had no strength yet left. I want to say thank you for bringing your daughters, your sisters, your friends here today to Atlantic City. Thank you. You can clap for your parents now. Thank you to all of our partners, the Atlantic City Alliance, Liza, you're in the back, Krita John Palmieri, the mayor of the city of Atlantic City, Mayor Langford, Dennis Levinson, all of the freeholder board who are sitting here in front of us, and I'd be remiss if we didn't have the best sheriff in the state of New Jersey. I can say that because I was once the sheriff. <laughs> They got that joke, too. This is going to be a lot of fun for the next two weeks. Thank you so much for coming to the state of New Jersey. It means everything to us from beginning to end. On behalf of the governor, Chris Christie, welcome home, Miss America, and thank you, Miss America. The Honorable Lieutenant Governor, we love you. Please welcome the Honorable Mayor, Lorenzo Lincoln. Good afternoon, one and all, and welcome to the great city of Atlantic City. As the mayor of this great town, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome all of you, especially these wonderful and beautiful contestants. Let's give them another round of applause. Let me just add my voice to the chorus of those who want to say thank you in a profound kind of way to all of those, all of our partners here in the city of Atlantic City for coming together, starting with the vision inspired by Denny Levinson, our county executive, to return Miss America back to her humble abode, her rightful place, the birthplace of this great event, the city of Atlantic City. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to a wonderful competition. 
I know during the parade they're going to show us their shoes. I can't tell you who will be the winner of that part of it, but I know a good time is going to be had by all, and I'm hoping that everybody will enjoy all that we have to offer here in the city of Atlantic City. Thank you, and God bless you. We were so thrilled when Atlantic Air stepped up and asked if they could present today's arrival ceremony. And I want to thank Renee Bunting, who we dealt with in, in making these arrangements. But representing Atlantic Care today is Margaret Belfield. And I'd love for you to hear from her now, please. I just want to say on behalf of the Atlantic Care Health System that I'm thrilled to be a female executive, and I'm thrilled to welcome Miss America back to their home. Thank you. Please welcome Atlantic County Executive Denny Levins. Isn't this wonderful? You know, we've got a governor that gets it, Lieutenant Governor, that got it done. That's why Miss America is back here. And we're so proud of the cooperation we received from the Alliance, Creta, the city of Atlantic City. And that's what it takes, cooperation, to get things done. But you know, as a history teacher, I gotta talk about tradition. You can't separate the Mummers Parade from Philadelphia, the Rose Bowl from Pasadena, even the Swallows from Capistrano. <laughs> Miss America is part of the fabric of Atlantic City. Yeah. And like the prodigal son, we don't know why they left. There's many reasons but we welcome them back with open arms. Now, I know that uh, Miss America, people say it's a beauty pageant, but it is also a scholarship pageant. What few people know is more money is raised by the Miss America organization for women's scholarships than any other organization in the world. And Atlantic City is once again the host of this fabulous organization. Thank you very much. I have spent about a week a month in Atlantic City since March. And since August 1st, I've been here full time in, prep in preparation for the 2014 Miss America pageant. And in so doing, I've made some really terrific new friends, one of whom is our next speaker. Mr. John Palmieri of the CRDA. John. Sam, oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. We're uh, as excited as anyone up here on the dais. It's a, a terrific day for the CRDA and for the city and for the tourism district, but it is a tribute uh, first and foremost to the governor's leadership. I, I, I'm not sure that we would have been able to get Miss Amer America to pay much attention if it hadn't been for a governor and a lieutenant governor who uh, are, are individuals who really don't take no for an answer. That's not to say that we didn't make a compelling proposition, but you listen to Lieutenant Governor Guadagno speak for a few minutes. Uh, as charming as Sam is, the Lieutenant Governor is as tough and tenacious uh, and spirited and, and uh, deserves a lot of credit for what happened. So we are very pleased that Denny Levinson did some of the undercover work, I understand. The Lieutenant Governor kind of reached out and put a friendly hug around the Miss America pageant people. And we at CRDA, and I want to thank my board of directors, Jim Keough, our chairman, and, and uh, uh, Robin Mulcahy, our vice chairman. We have our one of our members here, Denny Levinson's son, Matt Levinson, who in his own right has some standing here as the executive director of the Casino Control Commission. We have a terrific board of directors. 
A partnership is what has prevailed, and we have our differences occasionally. But the mayor, the county executive, the CRDA, certainly the governor and his team made this happen. And so we're excited and look forward to the pageant. Thank you.